Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a holiday get ready with me for you and I thought I would do it outside but the sun is going down so the light probably will change as we go in this video so I'm going to get started pretty quickly um, but I wanted to film outside because it's so nice here. I'm in St Lucia in case you didn't know. There will be a vlog either before or after um, this video very soon anyway if it's not on already but anyway let's get started um, I'm gonna start by just applying my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydration Gel Cream this video is partly sponsored by Bare Minerals who you guys know I absolutely love and I'm just gonna start with this just to start evening out my skin tone because my face gets very patchy when I'm tanning because I try and keep it kind of out of the sun um, but you can't completely manage that. Also, all the Bare Minerals products I'm using today are vegan, which is always exciting and obviously cruelty free as well. Before I came out here, I used the Bare Minerals Pureness Gel Cleanser, which I've been loving just to remove the residue of my um, sunscreen from the daytime, and it just makes me feel cleansed and refreshed after I use it. I've been using it all week. Be careful, it comes out very quickly, <laughs> but I've learned how to use it now. So yes, but I also love that it always leaves my skin just feeling moisturised after I've used it, so it's really good for sensitive skin. It's got 40% less ingredients than other like best-selling cleansers. That's the kind of idea behind the Pureness range is to have fewer ingredients, which is always good for me because you guys know I'm crazy about my ingredients. And then I also use the Pureness Soothing Light Moisturiser, um, which has 60% less ingredients than other moisturisers because moisturiser is usually packed with loads of stuff. It's reducing redness and sensitivity, it's hydrating. I just really love it. So I've been using both of those in this holiday and I think they've been helping my slightly sun-drenched skin to just recover and feel good after. And on top of my complexion rescue, I'm gonna apply the original foundation. I love this stuff, it is so nice. Again, this has only five ingredients. It is a mineral foundation, but it has a really nice dewy, luminous finish to it, which I love, especially for holidays. Um, and it feels really light on the skin, so it's just good for this kind of thing. And basically, just pop a bit in the lid, swirl it, tap, and then buff it on taking down some of the redness on my nose. My ears are really pink. I think it's because I've just kind of rushed out of the shower to catch the last of the light. They're like bright red. Don't worry, they aren't burnt. Sometimes my ears just do go really red. Next, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. I don't need to conceal too many areas at the moment, but I'm just going to take the Bare Minerals Shane Diffuse Eye Brush just back and forth on the top of this and just pop it on a few blemishes. Oh my goodness, I love the finish of this base. The last time we were here, we actually had these same rooms and Zach saw a tarantula, kind of half dead or dazed one, being dragged by a beetle, a huge beetle, beetle, across the deck. And like, I don't think I would see a tarantula unless it was half dead, but I do have like a, a kind of fear of being out here after that. Um, but I didn't see it, I was showering or something, but Zach saw it and I was like, Anyway, <laughs> um, I am now going to use the Endless Summer Bronzer. I've got a little baby one because it's from the Christmas collection. Um, I realised that they do this in two colours actually. I've got warm. I think there is another colour. I recently got my mum into this. Um, and it's just a lovely bronzer. Just taking it in places that I haven't actually bronzed too much as well, which is like my panda eyes. Um, I just can't give up the sunglasses when I'm on the beach. Well, that's what you need to do if you want a kind of even face tan, but I always end up with a panda eye situation. And I am also going to use this on the eyes. Um, I've been doing this a lot recently. It's just using my bronzer on my eyes. I just think it makes the look really cohesive. Plus it's easy if you're traveling and you don't want to bring loads of products with you, why not just 
use your bronzer on your eyes. I've been wearing pretty much this exact look, changing up the lips a little bit. All holiday, just something as simple as possible, basically, <laughs> because the jet lag has really affected me much worse this time around than it did last year. Like, I, by the time the evening comes, I'm exhausted. Next, I'm gonna take the Bare Pro lipstick in Carnation, and I'm actually gonna go crazy and put a little bit of this on my eye. Again, you can use these Bare Pro lipsticks in a kind of multi-purpose way. And so good for travelling. And for creating kind of nice, easy, monochrome looks. Um, I'm also going to use that on my cheeks. Sorry if the light is flickering behind me. So that is basically the base done. I'm going to add... I've actually got some freckles of my own, but I am going to just... <laughs> Add a few more, not too many. Just gonna run this eyebrow pencil through my brows. Kind of darken them up again. We like to have them a bit unruly. I'm also gonna just pop a little bit of brow gel on as well, just to brush them up and keep them in place. Just applying a little bit of mascara now. Also this year, I've seen a lot more cats and dogs around, and there is one little cat that comes and sits on this table. I don't know if she will join us. She seems a bit nervous though. That does make me feel slightly better about the um, spider situation though. Although I don't know how smallish cats measure up to tarantulas. I think I'm only going to do my top lashes today. I kind of go back and forth with how I feel about it. I think I'm just going to do the tops just to keep the eye really nice and lifted. Then I'm going to take an LA Girl lip liner because I'm going to use the Bare Pro lipstick in um, Saffron. And sometimes for a bright colour you do just need a little bit of lining first. So next I'm going to take Fair Pro Lipstick in Saffron, which is a colour I've worn before and I absolutely love. And I think my loves, that is everything. Um, I hope it doesn't go with I hope you enjoyed this super easy, quick, um, little holiday makeup tutorial. I've literally been wearing pretty much this the whole holiday and I just love it. It's kind of simple but effective I think um, and makes the most of any natural glow you may have got from seeing the sunshine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!